welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me. So how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well in the lockdown. Uh, we're still locked down here in the UK for another three weeks by the looks of things. So planes began on with. So I thought today we would take a look at the Ember Valley tank. Now excuse the lighting situation. It's a bit early in the morning, made an early start until the lights are on yet. As you can see on the racking shelf and the fire belly toad's not yet on or the 20 gallon. Can you see? Yeah. But I thought we'd take a look at the Ember Valley tank today. I wanted to improve it like we talked about the last couple of videos. I want to add some new plants. There's also some plants in there that are not really working out. I want to remove them and we're going to add them to the AGA 45P, which we should be escaping in the next couple of days. Um, I literally am waiting on a couple of orders of plants, which is either going to be today or tomorrow. Um, on that note, I've just received the delivery, so we'll unbox that in a second as well. And I'll give you an update on a couple of different things around the room as well. So I think that's enough for me waffling on. Let's crack on with today's video. Okay, so like I said, I just received a parcel. I'm expecting a few parcels in the next couple of days. Don't know where it is. I'd imagine there's some plants of some kind. I've got quite a few deliveries I'm expecting in the next couple of days. Like I said, we've got the new tank to set up. I think I've banged on about that enough in the last couple of videos. But I will be setting that up this week, I think on Thursday. So there should be a video out either this Sunday or next week. So make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. But let's go ahead and open this box with my trusty knife. Again, using Castro's tank. So our advantage now is on the floor. But this will be moved up onto his stand as soon as lockdown is over. All right, what have we got? Got some paper, get rid of that. All right, get rid of the box. Okay, so it looks like plants. Looks like it's from Tropica. Okay, so it looks like we've got some crypts, I think. Yep, some Cryptochorium Prava. So we've got five of these, so they'll be coming in the new scape. I was actually hoping these were going to turn up yet because if you know anything about crypts, they do have a tendency to melt back. So if you change their conditions, they'll sometimes melt back and the leaves will just completely dissolve. They will grow back, however. I know some people who plant crypts before they even put them in, they take the leaves straight off and just allow it to create new growth. So I was hoping that we didn't have to try and quarantine these or just put them in a tank for now, just so we could put them straight into the tank. But they're here and we'll see how we go along. So I'll pop these down into the plant bin now in a second. And then we'll keep these until we escape the new tank. But I think that's it in that delivery. Yeah. Make sure you take a quick look. Okay, can you see? Let's take them out. Okay, there you go. So only a small species, so it'll look quite nice in the new tank. So we'll add these into the bin now, and we'll crack on with today's video. Okay, so now we've done the unboxing, we'll move on to the Ember Valley tank. Just something I wanted to show you quickly that's going on right now as I'm talking to you, I thought I'd show you. Okay, so as I was talking just then, I noticed these were starting to peck away at the intake of the filter and the heater. And it looks like they might be looking to breed again. So I'll keep an eye on that and keep you updated. Hopefully we won't have as much trouble as we did last time. So we lost the angelfish. But like you can see there, they're just having a little pet cleaning away at it to make sure it's clean enough for their eggs. So we'll see how they get on. I'll keep you up to date. Okay, so a bit of exciting news there. And I'm hoping that we won't have any issues like last time, like I said. But I think that's enough for the time being. Let's crack on with this tank.
Okay, so this is the five gallon Ember Valley nano tank. So it houses, I think it is eight Ember Tetra, and I think there's four Blue Dream shrimp in here as well. Now we set this back, I think, March ish time, so it hasn't been too long. And there's a couple of things I want to change, a few things I want to address. Now I added some Retala Bonsai down in the side here, which is doing okay, is growing and growing slowly, but because all, most of the hardscape is at the front to create that valley look. And what I wanted to do is create some bushier areas behind the rock, so then it looked like a forested sort of area. So it hasn't worked out for the best, but I do have use for the Rotala in the new 45p setup that we've got coming. So we're gonna remove that firstly and add some new plants in there to try and create that look a little bit. There's also the piece of bogwood I added here hasn't stuck as I intended it to. So we're gonna try a different technique today with some paper towel and some super glue and see if we can get that resolved. And some of the Nubias has come attached a little bit and needs reattaching. So we're trying to tidy this tank up a little bit. Now I can see there's some plants that perhaps need replacing as well, so we might do that. And uh, hopefully we'll get this tank looking better, get some plants for the 45p that we'll be setting up this week. And then we'll get going. But enough of me rambling on, let's get through this. Okay, so we managed to get that done. As always, I am hot. 
but I think it's looking a lot better. But I'll do a compilation as I always do at the end of this video. So if you want to see how that tank, tank is looking now, you can see it a little bit there, then make sure you stay tuned until the end. Okay, so another good job done. So we managed to remove the Rutala Bonsai out of there just so we can add it into the 45P when we set that up. Obviously we added some new plants in there as well. We added some Hydrophyta Polysomera in there as well, and they're quite easy to care for plants. So if there's something you're interested in, I'll leave the links down in the description. You can check those out and get some for yourself. But overall, I'm really happy out of all the Nano Tank series we've had. Obviously we've just got a plant bin at the top and that's gonna be replaced with the ADA 45P. We've got a new beta fish tank in there. There, why can't I use my finger? There. And then obviously we've got the uh, Member Valley tank at the bottom. Out of all the tanks, and Bruce's tank on the desk as well, say hi Bruce. So I'm really happy with the way this is. It's something a little bit different. I'm hoping now that we can get a growth in the back like I anticipated and we planned for in the beginning. Now in one of the last videos we sat up, we repaired the 20 gallon nano community tank. So that's actually sat there right now and so far we don't have any leaks. So we might have repaired that and I'll do a future update on that very soon. Oh, so it's been a busy day. Let's have a sit down and let's have a look at the frogs. So another good day. So we managed to get a couple more jobs done. Like I said, I got plenty more deliveries coming at plants. Now we've got some plans upcoming for the Discus the Angel Fish tank. So we're going to be trying to create a planted tank without substrate. So if that's something you're interested in, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out any future videos. I'm also going to be doing an update on Bird the Panther Chameleon and his enclosure and plans for that going forward. Now that we have been shut in and I've got a bit more time on my hands, I'm going to carry on doing the Why Not Wednesdays videos as well. They were, in, they were intended to be short five minute videos, but so far only one of them has been. So I'll continue to do those and full videos on the Sunday. But if there's anything you'd like to see in the meantime, make sure you hit me up in the comment section below. And if you can do me a massive favor and give me that thumbs up, just to show YouTube you're enjoying this sort of content and allows you to make more videos like these. But I think that's enough of me waffling on for one day. Enough from all the animals and from my room and the frogs. And we'll see you next time.